M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Pistar and MMDVM hats. These are the hats that sit on top of our Raspberry Pis. They do have a firmware version. If you look on the left here, mine is 1.5.2, and this will not run the latest M17 that Pistar has now added. So we're gonna to need to update it. The way we do this is first of all, go to your configuration, just here, and then I would click update. Make sure you've updated everything, and I'd even go to expert and click upgrade. So everything is up to date, and all the firmwares have been uploaded. Next thing is go to come back to configuration, then expert. This time go to SSH here. We'll get to this. We need to put in our password, which is pi dash star. Enter. Then Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. And then we'll go, that's enter. And we're now logged in. So let's put in this command that we've got just here where it's flashing. And it starts, let's get it right. Don't want to get it wrong. S U D O space Pi star flat line then modem upgrade M O D E M upgrade okay uh, space H S then the flat line is at the bottom now so put your shift hit the flat line, hat, then hit enter. Now it's different commands for different MMDVM hats. Mine is just your standard cheap Chinese one. Um, so press any key to flash firmware version to 1.6.1. And I'll put a, a link to the hats that I'm using. And it's now updating the firmware. The one I'm using is described as an MMDVM hat 14.745 6 megahertz TCXO GPIO that's that's how it's described so hopefully once we've got this then what happens is when you select M17 and it does say at the top here modem firmware update utility by chip Cuccio of W0CHP so many thanks for that uh, preparing to flash hat, uh, modem firmware flash successfully. So if we go back to dashboard, okay, because it, it, I think it's finished, yep. Yeah. Uh, modem reinitialized, leaved, and we'll go back to dashboard, and there it is, 1.6.1. So thank you very much. Then if we go to configuration now and turn on M17 and apply. And if you grab any radio now, um, just put it on the same frequency. Although you, you need an M17 radio to actually hear M17, you'll hear if it's transmitting. So the way I test it is I fire up my Droid Star app, which does do M17. Then I go to I put it onto M17, M17 normally. Right. Let's just, uh, so I'm just uh, getting organized here. M17, M17, we just want that to refresh so we can apply it. And at the same time, I'm putting Droid Star on. To get ready to test it and we'll also go to the m17 dashboard m17 m17 enter dashboard like so now i'll log in i'm going to log in on my hotspot scroll down and we're going to choose m17 m17 i'm hoping that this will work they are M17 and then module C, I think it is. We'll try C. My maybe I should be selecting D for Droid Star, but uh, we're just going to apply it for now. M17 and I've connected it on my 
Yeah, Droid Star is connected now. You can hear it beeping in the background. Just letting the hotspot complete. And then I can I should be able to transmit on Droid Star. I've got my radio here just on that frequency. So and that's here. I think I'll see if I can get it onto this image view so you can see it doing it. Let's go to our dashboard. It does say, well, it is in red. I'm not sure if we're actually connected. Um, but anyway, we'll still try. So we're just going to do a quick test on my dashboard here. M0FXB, test, 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 M0FXB, test. Yeah, I can see myself. You can see that it's working. That's my droid style was working. Um, and someone came back. And I'm on the dashboard, as you could see. And K7VE came back to me. Let's just... Okay, let's try it. K7VE, K7VE, M0, FXB returning. So, we're not quite linked in. Yeah, and I think that gentleman's using, we'll just make it a bit bigger so you can see what's happening. But what we want to see, we want to see it on the dashboard here. And it, I'm sure it will work, you know, this is beta testing, really. Okay, well, I'm also on Droid Star. I am receiving you, M0 FXB Andrea, Southwest UK. So that's fine. I mean, the main thing is that the hat has updated. Well, wonderful. We could try a, a reboot. Yeah, that's good news. So tell me what equipment you're using again. Back to you. There's my little hotspot. At the moment I'm on Droid Star. Uh, I have a Yaku TM B. It's a module 17 plug in it. And uh, trying to get it tuned up so I can do uh, RF. So that's good. Uh, it does uh, decode. M0 FXB returning. Yeah, I had the same problem. I made the M17 module. I actually connected it to my FTM 500. I've made a video of it on YouTube. Quite messy, but I did manage to do it, and it was it was decoding, no problem at all. And I've got my I had my hotspot running M17 as well with W0 CHP software and uh, the latest firmware on the hat. <clears throat> but I couldn't get the uh, the radio to to transmit. It was an FTM 500. Back to you. Great fun trying those, isn't it? Well, it does key it up for me, so I think I've got the wiring correct, and uh, I'll put a video there. Uh, but there is a hot, and I have it in a case, so I'm getting the case off right now to get that pot so I can make it work. Yeah, well, okay. Well, I wish you good luck with that. I've still got all my stuff here i had to make the cable uh, i think it's, it was an eight or nine pin cable uh, and uh, it was interesting doing it uh, and and then uh, i sort of put it back on the shelf for a while but thanks for the contact m0 fxb andreas so when i tested it last time when i tested it last time it was actually transmitting uh, when i was using the w0 chp dashboard Thanks for watching, 7-3, all the best.